So let's talk a little bit about absinthe. It's kind of a fancy drink, so I thought I'd get dressed up for you. There's three different ways you can make this drink. Let's go through them. The first method is you take the drink, you pour it right into the glass, and then you will take a sugar cube. And you'll put the sugar cube on a special spoon that's made just for this. Place that on there. And then you drizzle a little chilled water on top of the sugar cube and let it roll through there. Okay, just a nice little dribble. And let the sugar dissolve a little bit into the drink. And as you see, as the water goes into the liqueur, it turns it into a creamy, milky green color. And that's where the name Green Fairy comes from. At this point, you'll want to drop the sugar cube in there and you'll stir it up a little bit. Take your fancy dancy spoon out and time to enjoy it. Oh boy, that smells good. Ah, that's the first method. So now for the second method. Sometimes this is called the Bohemian method and it's very similar to the other way we made it in that you take a sugar cube, only this time, sugar cube on, pour the liqueur over the sugar cube, that and now it's time for the fireworks you take a match you light her up and let that caramelize a little bit the alcohol will burn through the sugar cube and make it into a nice caramel flavor exciting isn't it <laughs> all right so you're going to want to have some chilled water on hand and what you'll do is you'll pour the water through the sugar cube that at this point has been caramelized. And again, the drink turns kind of this milky, green cloudy color, hence the name Green Fairy. Now you can go ahead and drop the sugar cube in, stir it up, take your fancy spoon out, and enjoy. Ah, delicious. That's method number two. For the third method, which is sometimes called the prog method, again, you'll take your fancy spoon, get yourself a sugar cube on the spoon, and once again, you'll take your liqueur and you'll pour it over the sugar cube, like so, dissolving it through. And it's time for the fireworks once again. Light her up. And now for what makes this different. In Prague, you'll take a shot of the absinthe and pour it right onto the lit sugar cube. Watch this. Oh boy! Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Well, it must be painfully obvious by now that I'm from East Texas. I barely even speak English, much less Dutch. So why not ask an expert on how to say these names? Right, what's it now? So how do you say Vincent van Gogh? Van Gogh. Go, go, go. Van Gogh. Go, go. Stop it. Go, go, van Gogh. Exactly. Van Gogh. Oh, oh, oh. Something else? His brother was an art dealer. How do you say his name? Theo. Theo van Gogh. I thought it was Theo. Is that Theo? Theo. Theoopolis. Theo Acropolis. Theo Papadopolis. Theo van Gogh. How do you say the drink that Van Gogh was so famously known for? Talking to me? Yeah. How do you say the liquor? I think it's absinthe? Absinthe. 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 Whew. All right. Thanks for trying. That was good information. Now leave, please. <laughs>